what's going on everybody still cleaning up after the show um got fedex in got my stuff back from tops everybody remembers these bowman cards right they said nice little letters generic on my pencil go here i'm gonna show you guys there's some long line it goes from here the whole way down right and you'll see it when i started here i gotta pull it back some a little hard to see sometimes right below where the light is you can see two lines as they go down the whole card and if i do this i'm probably not going to win there we go see it right there and right there that's why i left them in the case all right those lines are in there all right on nick gonzalez divot one divot two and where would it go here? Divot one, divot two, divot three, right down here. You see that divot real good. There's that other divot right there. Other divot right there. All right, then the top of this card, there's all these scratch lines going down right here. Trying to get the best I can because I don't want to take it out of the case right now. Um,. I'm trying to get to where I can, you can kind of see these, and it's hard with the overhead light. Maybe if I go upside down. Right, let me refocus this thing real quick. There we go. There. There, there. There 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 and there all right everybody remembers these all right so i'm going to show you generic letters the top sent me back lo and behold i might send these out to be graded and send these letters out and just to see what's said about this thank you for inquiring uh as you guys see tops doesn't even say my name or nothing Thank you for allowing us to evaluate the cards you submitted for damage defect. The call out to the lines are part of the design of the card. It's not a damage or defect. That's part of the card, guys. That's what they're telling me. It's part of the card. Those uh, scratch lines or whatever you want to call them, printer lines in it. So we're not supposed to be getting gigged. That's part of the card. Yeah, okay. Almost buy it. We're not returning. We are returning your original cards to your collection. As always, blah, 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 all right? Letter number two that they tape together. Appreciate them using tape, but they couldn't even afford a staple. Tops again. Thank you for us to evaluate the cards for defect. Unfortunately, we do not replace cards that would grade Nate or better. We're returning your cards. So I'm going to mail these off. Two PSA with copies of this letter. I know I'm not spending $300 a car, but when they reopen, and I'm going to be kind of curious just to see what happens with them all. Heck, Eric, I might just send them to you offhand. Out of curiosity, just for video purposes, I'll probably get in touch with you and just see what your system comes up with with the AI. Because I'm really curious on this because they're saying that that's part of the card. I, I'm in shock by it, really. I, I I don't even know what to say with it, to be honest. Um, wow. Every other time I've mailed stuff in with less than what this was even on here, I've had replacements. No questions asked. I mean, you guys remember the Aquino and stuff like that that I mailed in. They were scratched all up. But that's just ridiculous offhand. And see, they don't even mail me all my stuff back, so you can't even send it back in to fight it or nothing. That, that's just a sad part of it all. Um, oh, real quick, mail day while I'm here, too, because I don't have, I don't know when I'm going to put this out. Carl Anthony Towns, uh, Raw Review 10. This is nice. These are around 200 bucks. All right, that just goes back up here. But back to the tops thing. What do you guys think? I mean, honestly... We spend all these money on these cards, and I mean, they come out all messed up. I got it. They're not all going to be 10s, but come on. They should at least be mint. They're telling me these are 8s. I don't see PSA offhand 
at least grading either of these as an 8. I really don't. And I don't want to take them out to show up here, but if you guys go back to the Bowman boxes, you'll see them. Because I want them to stay sealed by Topps. Um, honestly, onto it, because that that's crazy. It really is. And I mean... I mean, what are you going to do? You can't fight the big beast, but I figured I'd just let you guys see this. Enjoy a good laugh for the week, because I, th I guess I'll post this tomorrow on Monday and everything. But I just looked at it, and I was like, wow, really? The lines on this are part of the card. Like, it's not damage, it's not defect. So you're telling me when a grading company looks at it, it's not a flaw. It's supposed to be part of the card, so my surface should not get dinged on that. Really, really interesting. Really, really interesting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down there about it. And no means, like I said, my butt trying to, you know, ruffle all kind of feathers out there, nothing like that, because they've always been great to me. You know, with uh, replacing stuff, and really the only reason I wanted one replaced was to Nick Gonzalez, because I think he's going to be a stud. And... The other one is through there because it had some heavy lines into it. But if you go back to the videos, you'll see the lines when I point them out. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But, all right, everybody. Something interesting, something different. Uh, you guys have a good week. I'm going to keep on um, trucking on here. I got lots of work to try to knock out here. And I haven't even made to start listing cards yet in the store. Just got all the shipping done uh, from everybody that's ordered. But I'll hit you guys up uh, next video. And don't forget. Friday, uh, we will do the auction. I'll get a preview video out probably Thursday on that. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good week. See y'all later.